This is a painting that at first, uh, first impression seems very simple, and it is in a design way and in a color way, but it has a certain kind of resonance. My inspiration for this is a 17th century painter called uh, Sanchez Cotan, a Spanish painter. He had 15 years that he worked with very innovative, brilliant, still life uh, painting that he did. But interestingly enough, not before and not after, he just had this, this moment when he was uh, a cutting edge artist, looking at things that people had not seen before. Still life paintings in his hands became a subject in themselves. Before, usually still lifes were objects that were parts of a painting. When still lifes came of age, they became a painter's subject because they didn't necessarily have any any references. They, did, they weren't heroes, they weren't dukes, they weren't religious subjects. They were just things that painters wanted to look at and inspired them in a, in a pretty abstract way for the 17th century. He had very simple backgrounds like this. And all I have here is a bowl of smoked fishes and a crust of bread. Of course, anybody seeing that in Western European culture would usually make reference, not surprisingly, to uh, some biblical references, New Testament, to the loaves and the fishes. But I'm not that, in my mind, not that specifically Christian. What I'm, what I'm thinking about, but I am thinking about it as a, a ritual or a sacramental description of, of sacramental uh, offerings. The, the very simple peasant bowl here that was made in Mexico, some smoked fishes, uh, not even a whole crust, a whole loaf of bread, but a half of bread. This is, this is a simple meal for, for uh, it's a peasant meal or, or a poor person's meal. And in that sense, it's, it's a very humble image but it has the sacramental resonance, resonance to me. The other thing is I love painting these smoked fishes. They have this glistening skin that is, that is metallic, almost like polished brass. And I like the idea of juxtaposing this, this very uh, long-lasting metallic hard thing with something as uh, ephemeral as just a few fishes that you would eat and be gone the next day. Uh, I spent a lot of time looking at them in the store, examining all the smoked fish, and I had, and I had them actually pick out, that no, no, I didn't want that one, uh, that one right there, that one. I can't imagine what they thought I was trying to choose. Uh, I love baguette, the French baguette, and I enjoyed very much the other half of this. So it was, it was a tasty meal that I was looking forward to, but originally, but first I had to paint it. The meal is long gone. The painting is still here. And that in that way I can I can take even the most ephemeral and beautiful things that and this is what I can do to make them more timeless. To you have a you have a a bottle of sand going through and you put to your hand on the thin part and stop time as best you can.